The Auditor General has yet again painted a sorry picture of municipal finances and the period under review fruitless and wasteful expenditure increased by 2 billion rand while unauthorized expenditure remained at 11 billion rand. Irregular expenditure stood at 32 billion and yet politicians insist that slowly but surely things are changing for the better. But as Voy and Voca reports, Wednesday's report may have been the last before some of the culprits are finally caught. Months left before his non-renewable term of office comes to an end, once again having to repeat most of the things he's been saying for seven years. And much of that, things his predecessors had also said before him. With a few notable exceptions, municipal officials continue to abuse public funds and flout accounting disciplines. Resources are being mismanaged with very little accountability and, surprise, surprise, Fewer and fewer safe and clean hands can be relied on to stop or correct the wrongs. If you were involved as a councillor and you tried to get particular contracts awarded in a particular way, because I'm a wrongdoer, there's very little chance for you as a councillor to take me on on that matter because I'm myself equally compromised in respect of adherence to the rules of the game. You will find instances like those, and I think it will be difficult for somebody to take someone to the courts when they know that they also have something along the same lines to answer for. Watch this space, says the organization representing councillors from the country's 257 municipalities. Bold action is coming. We involve ourselves as SALGA in both provincial level and the national level to resolve problems at municipalities and take accountability on what we're supposed to do. I think it will change. The situation will change. We are uh, committed to making sure that the situation change. Doing the right thing is actually simple, at least according to the woman who may just be the next Auditor General. People need to be aware of what the rules are. Let's make sure that um, people are acutely aware of what the expectations are as they execute their jobs. Um, the second one is to build the key internal controls that will help you um, prevent people from um, flouting the rules, that will help you detect things going wrong quickly and correct them. And if you have a system like that, what happens is if somebody knows what, that the rules are this, they'll also know that if they don't play within those rules, they will get caught. And then the third thing is hold them accountable. So if somebody knows what the rules are and you have the ability to detect, to prevent first of all, but to pre detect quickly what's happened that's gone wrong, um, you must hold them accountable because if somebody knows that they will get caught and if they get caught, something will happen, then it acts as an important deterrent from people doing that which is, in, is inconsistent with expectations. So I do believe that you change human behavior by making sure people know what they're supposed to do, have, have, have the rules clearly established. Number two, have a system of control that helps you prevent things going wrong and detect them if they should go wrong so that you can act. And then the third thing, we must act. We must implement consequences so that there's a culture that um, uh, drives more compliance than not. People tend to do wrong when they know that if they get caught, nothing will happen. Um, and, and people tend to act within the rules if, if they know that if they get caught, um, there will be consequences that are, that are attached to them. By the time she or whoever takes over from Makwetu in November issues their first municipal audit report next year, many officials may have been held personally liable for some of the transgressions. With just two months before these audits were finalized, there wasn't sufficient time to implement the new laws that now give the Auditor General some teeth. Vuyam Voko, Johannesburg.